Hi everyone, it's Stacy. Thank you for coming on this yoga leap with me. Welcome back to anyone who's been practicing with me for a while. Welcome to anyone new finding the videos for the first time. So happy you have found us and our little yoga chair community. As you can see, my chair is there. So today it might um, feel a little bit different from what we do. I am going to use the chair, but to begin with, I'm not going to be sitting in the chair. I'm going to use it um, as a prop, which it is, of course, whether you're standing or seated in it. Um, I'm just going to use to help me balance and maintain um, my, my balance and my footing through a bit of a warrior flow. So I know we did a warrior flow not long ago. This one's going to feel a little bit different. I will be using the chair. Uh, at the end, we'll do a bit of stretching seated in the chair. So I'm actually not going to really be moving down to my mat at all for this um, particular flow. Now, of course, these um, postures might feel a bit familiar, warrior one, warrior two, lunges, warrior three, you can do that all standing with or without the help of a prop or chair. And of course, you can do them seated in the chair as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. It's going to feel a little different. We'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to meet you back uh, at the chair. So like I said, today I um, will be using the chair as a prop. I'm not going to be seated in it um, other than perhaps we'll do a little warm up and at the end a bit of a cool down seated or standing, whatever you prefer. And I'm also, I am going to turn my chair this way. Um, depending on what type of chair you have at home that you're using, if you're using one, I'm really for the purposes of today's flow using this high part here for balance. So if you have a table or a wall or anything that you can uh, reach for and use for balance, that's really the purpose of my chair today. And as I demonstrate things, I'll be a lot of, there'll be a lot of side view for the flow today. So I may take my chair at some point and uh, swing it around here so that when I'm opening up, I'm facing you. You don't have to, of course, move your chair at all. Um, you can walk around as needed or just flow through the flow. And if you turn away from the camera, you turn away from the camera. It's no problem. We don't always have to be looking at the camera, of course. So just like I said, a little bit different today. We're gonna see how it goes. It, um, it feels kind of um, fun to try new things, keep, I talk about it a lot, that beginner mindset. We never want to get too comfortable in our practice. That's where we tend to not focus and stay present. So uh, whether you are going to start seated in your chair or standing, I'm going to actually start seated. <sighs> All right, so get comfortable in your chair or on your mat. You can uh, sit down on the mat for the warm up if, if that's what feels best for you. We just want to take a few minutes to ground, focus, arrive, kind of let go of the day um, that's already happened or that's ahead of us, depending on when you're practicing here today. So let's settle in, ground the feet and the sit bones, roll the shoulders a couple of times, and if it feels okay, you can close the eyes. If that's not comfortable for you, just turning the gaze down, find a nice still space uh, on the ground that you can focus your gaze on. Let's just take a few breaths here, noticing how our breath is feeling today. Is it feeling fast or slow? Is it getting stuck anywhere? Depending on where you're practicing, for some um, folks, it's first day back to school. <laughs> Ooh, there's different energy associated with that, excitement, sadness to see the summer winding down, nervousness, whatever those feelings are, just acknowledge them and then let them go. They'll be there when we finish our practice. Notice if you are feeling any tension or nervous energy or excitement in any specific part of your body associated with that first day of school or associated with whatever might be going on in your life. Just notice where you're feeling that energy. And then let it go. Sometimes setting a little intention, a little motto or mantra for the practice helps. Today's motto or mantra, it might be I'm here, I am present, I am grounded, or maybe it's I'm open to new things. I'm open to try. I'm open to failure, whatever it might be for our fun little flow today. It won't be too long. It'll feel invigorating, fun, a little bit silly, a little bit dancey. 
and then a little bit just free flowing. That's really what's important, moving our bodies in a way that feels good. Let's take one more breath here and let it go. All right, let's open the eyes if they were closed. Just let that light and energy come back in. If we want, we can start to bring a bit of movement to our practice, inhaling, sweeping arms up, and then exhaling, pressing the arms back down to our side. Inhaling to reach up, exhale, back down to our side. And again, inhale, exhale. Let's do one more, inhale. Let's exhale the hands through heart center, maybe bringing our hands to our lap, just to help us stand up out of the chair for a bit. Hold here, engage through the belly. We're just gonna start warming up some of the bigger muscles, holding here. And then either exhaling to sit back down, and then inhale, reach up. Exhale, let's do one more round like this. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale here. As we exhale, we draw the hands down through the center, rest them on the hands, or excuse me, on the thighs, and press up out of the chair. Not all the way, so we're still like we're trying to sit back down, engaging through the belly. The legs are working, roll the shoulders back. You can sit back down and inhale, or press through the feet, inhale to stand. Exhale, hands down by our side. One more time, inhale. Exhale, hands down by our side, and then we'll find that chair pose one more time. Inhale here. Exhale, hands through heart center as you either lift out of the chair or sit down, but not quite into the chair. Hands can be on thighs or at heart center. Let's hold here for three. Pull the belly in for two. And one. Let's all stand up, making our way up to standing. Inhale. Exhale our hands down by our sides. Let's roll the shoulders a couple of times, forwards and backwards. Good, let's shake it out. And then I'm gonna move my chair like I talked about, just so um, I can stay in frame for all of these little, uh, these little flows that we're gonna flow through. So we're gonna kind of build up and add on, and we're gonna try moving through lunge, warrior two. So lunge is similar to warrior one, not quite the same. Uh, so lunge, warrior one, warrior two, and warrior three, and then we'll stretch it out. So um, making sure that you have access to your chair or wall or cabinet or whatever you're using, bar, maybe you have a bar in your house, whatever you're using for your support, get it in front of you here. And then we're just going to root down through the feet, find a bit of a mountain pose. Hands can come down by our side or stay on the chair for support, whatever feels best. Let's think about our belly, draw them in, draw the bellies in. Tilt the tailbone under. Let's bring a bit of energy up through the legs, but softness through the knees. Roll the shoulders. This is our strong mountain pose, and we can come to this posture at any time today for rest, for um, regrouping, and just for taking a few breaths if we need. Eyes can be open or closed. And then when we feel ready, let's inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. As we exhale, we're gonna draw the hands down through center body and find the chair for balance if you'd like. And then as we um, inhale again, let's step back right foot, left foot, and then exhale, finding a bit of a sort of downward dog using the chair. You may or may not drop below the shoulders, pull the belly in, find a nice long back. This is our sort of variation of our downward dog. We're feeling nice length through the arms. We're feeling length through the spine and energy in the legs. Stay for a breath here. And then we're gonna inhale and step the right foot forward and come up onto the back toes. Now this is a lunge position roughly. If you choose warrior one, you're gonna plant the back toes down on the ground and they're gonna to point towards about a 45 degree angle. Now I'm not gonna choose that one because I wanna flow a little bit with movement in the knee. So as you come forward with this right foot, let's bend into the right leg and the left leg. So we've got bent knees for both legs here and then pull that belly in, tuck the tailbone, straighten up just through the back leg. See if without moving anything else, we can straighten that back leg and then bend back into the back leg. Straighten, bend. Let's straighten and find stillness, square off the hips, root down through the feet. And then we're gonna inhale to lift up one 
or both arms, depending on how balanced we feel. Inhale here. And then as we exhale, the hands can come and find the chair as we step the left foot back in. Or you don't need to use the chair. I'll demonstrate that next round. Round two. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale the hands down through the center. Find the chair. We're going to step back the left foot, then right, and find our little downward dog stretch here. Pull the belly in. Root down through the feet. You can walk the dog out if that feels okay. Really think about finding a nice long line of energy from the fingers all the way out through the tailbone. Stay for a breath. On the inhale, pulling ourselves up, we'll step that left foot forward here, and then we're gonna bend into the back leg, which is the right leg, and come up on the toes. Stay here, and then exhale, straighten the leg. Bend the back, straighten. One more, bend and straighten. Let's hold it, root down, find stillness. And we're gonna inhale, lifting one or both arms again, depending on how balanced and centered we feel. Root down through the feet, square the hips. As we exhale, you can reach for the chair or exhale and step back up towards the chair. Hands come down to our side. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come through the center. They find the chair. We'll step back right foot, then left. Find our little downward dog our modified downward dog here. Nice stretch through the arms, stay for a breath. On the next inhale, let's lift our forehead, step that right foot through. As we bend the right leg, we'll bend the back leg as well. And then exhale, straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend, straighten. Hold here, root down. Inhale, lifting one or both arms, finding our lunge with reaching arms. And on the exhale, again, reaching for the chair or not, let the hands come down to the side, step the left foot in. So the hands can always come one, two, no hands. You can try to test out your balance. All right, another round, here we go. Inhale, exhale the hands through heart center, finding chair, step back left foot, then right foot, Finding our modified downward dog type stretch here. Finding a couple of breaths, pull the belly in, find that long line of energy. On the next inhale, lift the forehead up, step that left leg forward as we bend into left leg, bend right leg as well, and then straighten and bend. Straighten, bend. One more, straighten, bend. Let's leave it here, really root down, find that strength. And as we inhale, we reach one or both arms all the way up to the ceiling, tuck the tailbone. As we exhale, we reach for the chair or use the arms to help us step back towards the chair and we find ourselves in our mountain pose. Let's take a breath here. Check in with our bodies. Let's go through the next round where we're going to add in a warrior two. So starting in our mountain pose again, inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale through heart center, find your chair for balance. Let's step back. Oops, I'm going to step back left foot here to start just so on this first round, I'm going to turn towards the camera. So stepping my left foot back, bending into that uh, right leg. Now I'm going to try and come into warrior two. So I've got my bent knee in the front here. I'm going to open up my torso to face the front. Back leg is straight. I've planted my foot and the toes are facing forward. So these toes face this way, back toes face this way. This is our warrior two. We can continue holding on to the chair here or reach the arms long and wide, send energy out through the fingertips. Stay for a breath here. Settle into your warrior two. Tuck the tailbone. Make sure the knee is pointing out towards the baby toe. Find a breath and then we'll find a bit of movement. You can stay in stillness or inhale straight through the leg or reach the arms up. And then exhale, sink back in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's inhale here. As we exhale, this time maybe sweep the arms behind, clasp the knuckles. 
reach them down towards the mat and open up through the heart space. Option for humble warrior, you can fold down, but my chair is in the way and yours may well be too, depending on what you're practicing with today. Staying upright and open through the heart space is lovely as well. Find another breath. On the next inhale, release the knuckles. Inhale, straighten that front leg. This time as we exhale, let's let the back hand drop towards the back leg. Uh, top arm reaching up and over. I don't want to say right or left because I'm not sure which leg you've stepped back with and it doesn't matter. We're going to switch sides anyway. We're just finding a nice sort of reverse straight leg uh, warrior here. On the inhale, let's come forward again, bend into that front knee, and we're going to sweep the back arm around as we take the hips with us and come back up on the toes so we find ourselves in our lunge position again. If you need to shorten the stance, go ahead, use your chair for support for that. Bend into both legs and then straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Let's straighten here. And then we're going to step all the way up to the top. So leaning forward, hands or no hands, coming back up to the top of the chair on the inhale. Perhaps if you didn't use your hands to hold on to, you reached up on your inhale and the hands come through heart center. Find your mountain pose. We're going to go to the other side. Stay where you are. I'm just going to turn my chair around so that when I open up, I'm still facing the front. So here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Find the support of the chair. And this time we're going to step back with our right foot. We'll bend into the left leg. And we'll plant that right foot down as we open the hips up towards the front of the room. Remember, now these toes are facing forward, and these toes are facing the side. So they're per facing perpendicularly. <laughs> There's a mouthful. And again, using your chair for support or reaching the arms long for a nice wide warrior to try to keep the hips centered under the shoulders. Reach, reach, reach. And you can stay in stillness, maybe sinking a little deeper in your warrior two. Or we can move with our breath here on the inhale, straighten through legs, reach up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, pointing the knee out towards the baby toe in the front, inhale, exhale, let's do one more big inhale here, and then we'll sweep the arms behind us, maybe wrap the opposite finger on top, opposite thumb on top as we open up. And again, option to find your war, your humble warrior, as long as you're not going to hit your chair on the way down. Otherwise, staying nice, lifted, and open up towards the sky is beautiful. Stay for a couple of breaths. Keep reaching those knuckles away. And then when we're ready, we'll release the fingers, straighten through the front leg as we reach up. Inhale here. This time, we're going to let the back hand find the opposite leg. Top arm reaches up and over. We find a nice straight leg reverse where there's a little micro bend in the leg, so we're not locking them out. Option again, as always, is to have a bent leg. I just needed the little break with the straight leg here. <laughs> Sometimes that bent leg is working so hard. Take another round of breath. And then we'll bend back into that front leg as we come up, find our warrior two. And then we're gonna sweep the right arm around and sort of bring the hip with us, find our chair. Bring that hip with us, come up on the toes, bend the back leg, and then straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend, straighten. Bend, straighten. All right, let's take our inhale and step up to the top of the mat. Exhale, hands through heart center. Let's do that one more time. We'll move a little quickly, a little more quickly through the rounds. I'm going to switch my chair back around here. And from our mountain pose, when we're ready, let's inhale. Exhale, sweep the hands down. We're going to step back left leg, find our warrior two. So right leg bends, open the hips up to the front, left toes pointing to the front, arms reach long. Inhale. And exhale, settle in here, stack the hips and shoulders, pull the belly in, and then let's move with our breath. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, let's inhale here. As we bend the knee and exhale, let's clasp the hands behind, reach the knuckles down, find an inhale, exhale, one more. All right, let's inhale, release the hands, straighten through the front leg. As we exhale, drop the back arm, reach the top arm, find your reverse warrior. Leg can be bent or straight in the front, remember. And on the exhale, let's bend back into the front leg. Inhale for length in a final warrior two on this side. Exhale, sweep the back arm around, find the chair for support, bring the hips and up on the toes, bend into both legs here, and then straighten, good. Option here, of course, is to have one or both arms lifted as we move through a bit of dynamic breath work here. Let's do one more. Awesome, and then as we exhale, we're going to step up to the top of our chair, release, good, let's roll the shoulders, shake it out, we have one more round. I'm just switching sides so I don't turn away from the camera. Finding mountain pose and when we're ready, inhale. Exhale, hands through heart center. Find the chair. We're going to step back right foot. Turn the hips to face the front. Adjust our warrior two stance. So toes face forward, toes face to the side. Arms open wide. Stack those hips under the shoulders. And when we're ready, we move with breath. On the inhale, straighten through the leg. Exhale, sink back down. Always moving with your own breath. Inhaling to reach tall. Exhaling to sink down. Let's reach one more time. This time we'll exhale the hands behind. Clasp that opposite finger in front, opposite thumb. It feels weird. Reach the knuckles down. Open up. Stay lifted or bow forward. Your choice. Keep reaching. And then when we're ready here, let's release the knuckles, inhale. Exhale back into our warrior two. Oh, let's inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, find our reverse. So back arm reaches down, top arm reaches up and over. Let's inhale, bend into that front leg again. Find warrior two for a pause. And then we'll sweep that back arm, bringing the hips with us, coming back up on the back toes. Maybe adjusting the stance as we bend both legs and then we're gonna straighten. Straighten, trying to find length down the back of the leg. Straighten. One more. As we inhale then, exhale, we're going to step up to the top of the chair, find our mountain pose, release. All right, I'm gonna flip my chair around one more time. <laughs> As we move through our warrior three sequence this time. So we're actually just gonna start at the chair here. And I think I've got room to uh, express warrior three. Now for warrior three, arms and hands can stay grounded or connected to the chair. They can come to heart center or one can. They can come out to the side um, airplane style or they can reach right up above and you're gonna have a big long cantilevered line of energy. So lots of options for our warrior three. Let's settle in here. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale the hands through heart center. Think about where you wanna have your arms. Are you going to try using no support or you can have one or both hands on the chair? I'm going for the chair. I don't know what it is about warrior three, I struggle with it. And then we're gonna transfer our weight into our right foot and we'll step the left toes out behind us. Now we wanna keep the hips nice and square to the chair here, root down through that support leg and then tilt the pelvis. So we've already got a nice long line of energy from head to toe. And then we can try and lift the toes off the mat. We might stay here today. And maybe we even wanna play around with our balance in this position. See, I'm already wobbling, which is fine. Maybe we want to take a deep breath and start to hinge. So imagine you've got a um, plank of wood attached to you here. So you're not going to lift and then lower and lift. You want to imagine you're glued to this piece of wood and you're cantilevering. So the body and the leg are moving as one. 
So picking your option for a warrior three balance. Here we go. Start to hinge forward if you're coming here. Practice with hands on or off the chair. Work to press into the standing leg, but keep the hips drawn down towards the mat. Don't let the chest or the arms just be all spaghetti. We want to engage every muscle. Squeeze the bum, energy out through the foot that's lifted. Finding our warrior three. We're going to stay for three. Keep breathing for two. Squeezing the leg, trip, uh, tipping the hips back down towards the mat. One more breath. All right, now we have to inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Let's lower the foot down, release the hands, maybe even shaking the legs out. And we'll go to warrior three on the other side. I'm gonna keep my chair here. I think um, I won't end up turning away from you in warrior three. Let's find our matching pose. And then when we're ready, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, draw the hands down through heart center, finding one or both hands or no hands on the chair, round to the opposite foot. So ground into your left foot, step the right foot out behind. Keep the hips square to the chair. And then we're gonna lift the toes off the mat. So we're working that balance already. And then again, either with one, two, or no hands on the chair, we're gonna to start to cantilever forward. So again, don't lean forward with the body and then have the leg follow. You're glued to a piece of wood and you're tipping the body and leg at the same time as far as you can go. Once you start tipping too far forward, you might notice your hips open up, draw that right hip back down towards the mat. Energy through both legs, energy through the arms, especially if you're not holding onto the chair. And let's stay for three. Squeeze the bum, drop the hip back down for two. And one. All right, let's cantilever all the way back up to standing. Release the right foot and shake it out. All right, well, we made it through our warrior series. We did warrior one, warrior two, and warrior three. We did a nice reverse warrior. Some of us might have tried humble warrior, depending on our setup. Now it's time to find the mat or the chair, stretch it out, and start cooling things down. So I'm gonna come straight to my chair. Feel free to flow through a vinyasa, um, that chair vinyasa, or otherwise, if it's in your practice, to make your way down to your back, um, which might be the nicest way to cool down. We're gonna be moving through some pigeon type poses, figure four, and some twists, and so you might wanna head straight down to your back from where you are. Otherwise, seated in the chair. Good, let's root the feet down. Let's take a moment to settle into our chair here, ground down through the sit bones. Maybe take a minute to come back to our breath and our mantra. Maybe the mantra is that I'm going to try new things and maybe you did and maybe you didn't. And that's okay, just checking in. And then we're gonna move into our seated or supine figure four. So to begin with, let's take our right leg, flex the foot, and we'll cross the right ankle over left knee. And this is, if you're on your back, same thing. You just may wanna bend that left knee. And then you'll just let that right knee fall open. And from here, if it's enough, you can stay. If you're lying on the ground, you might wanna reach through the arms and draw that left knee in towards your heart center. If you're in the chair here with me, maybe just starting to hinge forward a little bit, just to increase the sensation of stretch on the right side of the body. I'm just resting my hands gently and I'm not, I'm not falling into it too, too much. I've got a nice bit of energy in the right foot to help with the alignment of our knee in this position. So finding the amount of sensation and stretch you're looking for in this posture. Let's settle in here. Uh, option is to rock if you're on the ground or in the chair, depending on your chair, or stay in stillness. We're going to stay for a few more breaths. One more big breath here. And we'll come on up. And then if you're lying on the ground, crossing the legs in tighter, reaching for the ankles or shins and drawing the legs up in, sort of up and over into your heart space. If you're on the uh, chair here with me, 
Still crossing the legs in nice and tight. Maybe you can even get into some eagle legs on the floor of the chair. I certainly cannot. <laughs> and we're gonna come into a bit of a twist. Let's take an inhale. Let's exhale, twist towards the bent leg. So our left arm's gonna come across and just help guide our twist a little bit more. We still wanna sit up nice and tall. And we can take our right hand, root it into the floor if we're seated. Um, or uh, into the back of the chair if we're in our chair. We're gonna find a nice twist here. If you're on the mat, just let the legs fall over to one side. Arms can spread out along the mat in a T or cactus to help keep your top body rooted down into the mat. On each inhale, we grow a bit taller and on each exhale, we try to see if we can twist a little bit more. So the hands can guide, but they don't wanna yank us into a twist that our body is not ready for. If you're on the floor in a twist with knees drawn into the chest, maybe now is the time to let them fall over to the floor. If you're on the chair here with me, maybe you wanna untwist slightly, bring the hands to heart center and hook the elbow over the knee and press into some prayer hands here to open up the heart space. This is optional. We don't have to take this option. Staying in a nice tall twist, twist is fine too. Let's stay for three. For two and one good let's come on up untwist through center let's just step the legs wide here uh, if you're on the mat let the knees knock in windshield wiper if you're in the chair with me maybe just finding a nice wide leg forward fold hands can rest on knees they can reach down or we can reach for opposite elbows just dangle shake the head yes and no And then when we're ready, release the elbows if we have them, find the knees to help find support, and we'll hinge all the way back up to seated. We'll step the feet in and find that pigeon figure four stretch on the opposite side. So flex that left foot, cross it over right knee, let the left knee um, just come open, square off the hips, settle in here with a nice tall posture or hinge forward for a little bit more sensation. I remember on the floor, your option would be to uh, reach through and draw the knees in towards you as that left knee opens up. Finding a nice hip stretch on the opposite side. So always know that if I'm doing right and then left and you did left first by accident, just make sure you do the right. It really doesn't matter too much. I just have to make sure I remember to do both sides. So I usually start with my right. <laughs> Let's stay for another breath here. And then we'll hinge all the way back up and we can cross our legs in tighter again, find that eagle. And then if you're on the floor, reaching for shins or ankles, drawing the knees in. And if we're in the chair, let's take a big inhale here. Exhale, twist, we'll let the arm come across the body and just guide us into our twist. Hand can be planted on the floor if you're seated or any um, option on the chair that you might have. Again, I don't know what kind of chairs everyone has, so um, it's hard for me to cue. You can reach maybe underneath, depending on your chair, or behind, or maybe you're in a big chair and you can also plant your hand in that chair behind you to help you sit up nice and tall, grow tall on each inhale, and then twist a little deeper on the exhale. Remember the hands are guiding us, they're not pushing us beyond what feels comfortable. Little sensation is good, pain is not good. Take a couple of breaths here. Grow tall, twist deeper, and then staying right where you are, or if you're in the chair, maybe leaning forward, hooking the elbow, and then coming into prayer hands. Press into those prayer hands to open the heart space up. Find a couple of breaths. We're just deepening the stretch here a little bit, opening the um, chest up towards the side a little bit. Press into the hands to help that happen. One more breath. On 
on the inhale, let's come on up and untwist. Good, one more time with legs wide or close together, whatever your body needs. We're gonna fold forward, let the head dangle, hands can reach down. You can curl into a little ball if you're on the mat, rock side to side. And then when we're ready, we'll release the hands. Help us up by finding knees. You can roll or hinge all the way back up to seated or start to make your way to your final resting um, posture, Shavasana. If you're on the floor, maybe the knees are bent with knees knocking in. That will take a little pressure off the low back. Maybe you want to straighten the legs straight out along the mat. Hands can be down by your side up overhead, whatever feels comfortable. Same in the chair, however you feel comfortable. Finding a comfortable position, hands can come to our lap, palms turned down or up, and eyes can be open or closed as we start to scan our bodies and just notice if there are any areas we're still holding on to any tension. Maybe we can just breathe a little loving kindness that way and let it go. Shavasana is the time for our physical and energetic bodies to absorb all that good work we just did and turn it into something magical. It's a time for integration and rest. And know that rest is different from sleep and that we need both every day. And we should never pass up an opportunity to just rest and do nothing. Of course, the beauty of practicing through the lens is that if your body wants or needs to stay in Shavasana for uh, any longer, just let the video play out or press pause now and stay exactly as you are. If you're ready to get on with your day or your evening and you want to start waking up the body, maybe wiggle through fingers and toes and maybe circling wrists and ankles. And maybe you want to stretch along or curl into a little ball one last time just before making your way up to a comfortable seated position so we can all finish our practice and close off with a collective breath together. Once you're there, let's inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Let's draw all that energy down through center, maybe stopping to rest at our heart, either hands over heart or in prayer, or if you're more comfortable, hands all the way back down to the lap. And from here, I want to thank you for allowing me into your personal private yoga practice spaces and for allowing me to guide you through this hopefully fun, flowy um, yoga um, practice. Thanks again. I hope to see you here again next week. Until then, take care. Thank you, everyone. I hope that felt kind of like you were dancing. <laughs> um, I hope it was a little bit fun, a little bit challenging, a little bit different, and I hope you have a great week. Until then, take care. Bye.